Hi, this is 21 Times. You probably know my writing from Pokédex Central or from Pojo.com. This is the Rayquaza GX decklist that I've built. Um, so far, it's doing it's doing okay. Sometimes it really bricks, um, which is why I'm kind of considering maybe swap it in for Dunsparce. Uh, but the Beast Energy is really, really tempting when you can get a bunch of Beast Energy on. Um, I was playing one match against, uh, played a best of three against uh, Juan Macedo, who's a feature writer. Um, for us, and uh, there was one game where I put seven energy on in one turn. Um, it was pretty amazing. Um, of course, um, I lost that video because of user error, and then my power went out, blinked out, and then I lost the whole thing. But um, as you can see here, what we've got, um, everything here also is post rotation. So, um, you know, hopefully, uh, let's get into a match. Hopefully, we'll get a Rayquaza start, and um, I'll end up making my opponent cry a little bit. All right, so again, oh, my opponent, no, neither. Yeah, my opponent had the advantage there, I think. I don't know if the advantage came up, but the uh, sign came, the little symbol came up. Oh, that's not good. I'm taking a mulligan. I do have a pretty good number of, uh, how many basic Pokemon do I have in this? Three, seven, eight, nine. Well, I only had to take one mulligan. And I go, oh, really good start here. Really good start. Yeah, we're just going to start Ray Ray and Zerkatree. Well, this is good. Hopefully, my opponent goes first, so I can just go ahead and awesome Tempest. Okay, so we're looking up. Oh, this is good against the new Metagross and Steven's Resolve. Is Steven's Resolve or Steven's Decision? Uh, Steven's Resolve. Sorry, my list of all the cards that I needed. I've got pretty much everything I need. Oh, Judge. Let's see. So I have eight draw support, and I have seven grass energy. So there was 15 cards possible. Uh, yeah, so it was relatively reasonable to expect that I was going to get a grass energy or something that would allow me to draw into a grass energy. All right, so I'm going to play up my grass. Um, do I want to holla or just discard these guys? Because that would mean I could just grab a... Hmm. That's a good question. Well, I'm going to go with the safe and sure. I'm going to grab a Grubbin, because I need to get a Grubbin down. Plus, I can look at my deck this way. All right, so I have two Vika Volts. Okay, so Zerkatree's already down. Okay, so I have no Pokemon Prize. Three Acrobike, uh, three... Beast ring, so I'm missing a beast ring. Two recyclers, three nest balls. Did I play a nest ball already? I can't quite remember. Oh, only two rare candy, and I'm losing one here. I just threw one away. Okay, so I've got one in my prizes. A pal pad, so I'm missing an ultra ball. Uh, they got a hollow in hand, two of those, and then six and four, so seven and four. So, so I've got a missing two lightning energy. There's something else I'm missing. I'm not sure exactly what. Now, do I just or do I get greedy? I'm going to get. No, I'm probably just going to draw into something that I. I'm just going to tempest here. I probably would just put in like two base rings in the rare candy. That's probably what I would. Okay. So no Vika Volt and no Stretcher, because I've got a Vika Volt in here, right? Yeah. And no end or Judge, so that's a good sign. I think that Judge is actually going to be a pretty common um, card to see, and my opponent just quit. <laughs> okay, so I think that was more because they're just, I, I just don't know how good that Metagross I don't know how good of a 
archetype that's going to be. All right, so we'll go again here since that one was so short. Um, and you could see that I'm, I'm much better when I get a Rayquaza start and I'm able to go second to a turn one Tempest. All right, so yeah, so the symbol popped up again. Didn't show that, didn't say they had the advantage, but the symbol popped up. Showed they probably have the advantage. I do not want to go first. See, here is where I'm starting Grubbin. Um, here is where it would be great if I could start Dunsparce. And then, uh, but a, a Dunsparce start would mean, okay, Mega Blastoise. So <laughs> I don't know if this is necessarily going to be a competitive match. But a Dunsparce start would, would mean that I wouldn't necessarily have to run Hollow. I could run Copycat. And then um, I could maybe run uh, Tapo Coco GX. It's just basically for the use of its um, um, basically for the use of its um, GX attack. All right, so I am going up against Glaceon EX. I played against a Glaceon GX game last night against a player who was very very good. Um, and it was so, it was Judge and Red Card, and it was very, um, it was very uh, disruptive. A lot of hammers. It was very good. Very good deck. Um, I'd never seen Glaceon used with that much disruption before. Um, unfortunately, it was going up against a Gardevoir GX, my, one of my Gardevoir Sylveon decks. So he would just, you know, judge me or whatever, and then I would just magical ribbon for whatever cards I need. Um, that's actually, I actually judged him right back at one point, because that's actually a technique that I'm using. All right, great. So I have Rayquaza. Um, so I definitely want to put Rayquaza down. I won't be able to use his ability, but that's okay. Um... Do I want a Wishful Baton? I don't think I want a Wishful Baton yet. I'm going to Acrobite. Let's see what I get. Ultra Ball or a Lightning Energy. We're going to go with the Ultra Ball. So you can see what I mean here when I say that this deck bricks. It bricks hard. I am just going to throw all this back in and hope that I get a grass energy. Good. Really good. Oh, this is... As, as um, Andrew Mahone says, oh, this is fine. This is just fine. Um... I'm going to throw down another Grubbin since I'm probably going to lose this next, this one up top. Um, I'm not going to use my Recycler because I only have one energy in there. I should have looked at my prize cards. That was not, we'll see what cards are prized. That was a very poor decision on my part. Um, that was very poor play. So I do like this uh, Manaphy that he's got here, the Blessings of the Deep. You know, it's going to heal him up 20 each time. Um, if I don't go HKO him, um, that'll give him a little bit of relief. Um, I do not like this <laughs> Manaphy EX. Uh, I think my record against Manaphy EX, you know, I look at it like when I track um, the card, track my record against Pokemon. Manaphy EX is usually, um, I beat it like 75, 80 plus percent of the time. Um, it is such a uh, such a liability. So, uh, speaking of liabilities here, I could be a little bit stuck if my opponent doesn't find the DCE. Um, yeah, this is less than desirable. Oh, wow. It doesn't get any better than that. Wow. That was so lucky. 
Oh my gosh. That was the luckiest holla. <laughs> that was the lucky. I can't, I can't even, I can't even begin to statistically. All right. So what are the chances he's going to put me at four prize cards anytime soon? Pretty small. So I'm just going to put down my third Rayquaza. I'm going to strong charge and um, onto Grubbin. Wow, uh, it was that was amazingly fortunate for me. Um, sorry um, to my opponent. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, so um, I will also be able to get. Um, my other Vika Volt into play here. Um, so I gotta remember Rayquaza needs a grass and a lightning to attack. Um, do I want to play Pal Pad? I have two Hollas, so definitely. Um, I want to. Part of this engine is, you know, it's great to get 10 cards in your hand, but you want to make sure that you can recycle those draw supporters. And yeah, he's um, he's just in trouble. I am going to play down Rayquaza. Um, I'm going to Ultra Ball away um, this Nest Ball and one of the Lightning. Get Vika Volt out, double Vika Volt. So I'm going to be able to put five energy on the board this turn. Um, it is not looking good for my opponent here. So right now I'm going to strong charge a grass and a lightning onto Rayquaza. And so here's where you could see where this deck is really Another, yep. Yep. I, I don't blame you, opponent. You, you were not going to survive. Yeah, sorry. All right, so let's try to get another one and see how that goes. Okay, so... Yep, again, it popped up that my opponent had the advantage but didn't say advantage. All right, this is Crafty ID. Um, I do not want to go first. Looks like we have Zoroark and something with fire. So again, a grub and start, less than desirable. But as you could see from the last time, um, it's not overcomeable. But it, it just, you know, it'd be so great to, cause if you have, if you run four Dunsparce, you're going to either start, you're gonna probably going to either start um, Dunsparce or you're going to start Rayquaza. And either way, you'll have a great setup. So that's something I'm really thinking about. I'll probably start experimenting with that. Um, as you could see, I may go away from the Beast Rings. Um, because, yeah, they make a really good splash, but just you don't always get to use them. So we do see, so this is a top top flight deck. It's Dar Zoroark and Mag Cargo. And Tapu Lele, so um, I don't know if he's going to bridge it or if he, yep, he's still going to bridge it even though uh, he's only got two slots. So it's my guess that he probably has a Sycamore or an end in hand. So my opponent, oh, double mag cargo. He is really going for it. So let's see just how good this Zoroark mag cargo engine is. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to nest ball. 
And so three, so I'm missing a grubbin. So let's delete out my prize from that previous game. Um, and I want to grab both those, got those, three Mika Volts. Um, I have one Acrobike in hand, one Beast Ring in hand, two Energy Recyclers, yeah. I'm using an S-Ball right now, one Pow Pad, ooh, only two Rare Candy. I have two Rare Candy prized. That is not good. Two Stretchers, I have two Stretchers, right? Two Stretchers. I have a Cynthia in hand, two Guzma, so I'm missing a Hala. Two, then I have four and four. So I have six and five, which means I'm missing one of each. Oh, so not having those. That is not good. Not good. Um, we'll acrobike. I'll get a little greedy here. Um, we're going to put the recycler into my hand because I have a pal pad to get Cynthia back in. So the good news is I get Vika Volt next turn. <laughs> the bad news <laughs> is that I got nothing else. My likelihood of top decking a draw supporter is not good. And like I said, my opponent, um, because they use Bridget in their first turn, you, you would think that they would have had some kind of draw support in hand. So they actually had Zoroark and Mad Cargo and an N. Just a great setup for my opponent. You know, there's not much I can do there. Although, with the N, you know, he's given me an extra card. So... Yeah. This isn't horrible for me. Um... But I am going to go down to three to six prize cards, so I am going to be in some trouble. Well, maybe not, though, because he's not going to OHKO me. That's the one downside with the Zoroark, is they're a two-hit KO deck. That's a two-hit KO archetype, so... but you can see he'll be chewing through his deck pretty quickly here. Um, he's going to be in pretty good shape. Um, and I will not be able to get... Um, I will not be able to get a Vika Volt into play this turn. So I will be able to Tempest. Um, do I want to play that Cynthia, though, and potentially draw into rare candies and bee strings. Mm. And so this is as good as it gets for Zoroark Mag Cargo. They are at the top of their game right now. This, so my opponent couldn't have asked for anything better. But the only thing better maybe is, you know, the, uh, the, um, Ending me. So, okay, this is okay. Here we go. Uh, we can throw down another Ray Ray. We're on an odd prize game, so it's a seven prize card game, so um, I'm going to get greedy. This is maybe a mistake, but um, do I want to mill? I've got a lightning energy down there. Um, I am not going to mill. Um, uh, no. All right, I'm going to get 
greedy. Okay. And then definitely going to attack. Ooh. So he's not two hitting me. He's not two hitting. Me. He's not one hitting. He's two hitting. Me. All right. So we're gonna tempest. I'm sure he's gonna get himself an end and reduce me, but he's gonna put me down to six cards. Six cards is okay. Um, and my hollows will now all grab me seven. So, yeah, whoop de doo Your choice band's not doing any. That's another thing I want to do is do like an evaluation of choice band. Um, does it really do you any good? Because I'm kind of thinking it doesn't. You know, because you know, I just, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, maybe I'll do an evaluation on it and see. All right, so I will um, be doing at least 120. If I can get a Vika Volt, I will OHKO him. But that is a difficult task. But I've got the Wishful Baton. Um, I'm sure he's carrying Field Blower, though. There, there's no way he doesn't have Leaf Blower. It's just I can't... I find it very difficult to believe that he wouldn't have Leaf Blower. But again, this is as good as it gets for Zoroark. You know, he's going to plug along at 150. Um, and he's probably going to start Guzmaing. Pretty soon, I would think. Bring up the Rayquazas that I have that don't have any energy. That would be my guess. Either that or Acerola. Well, but I'm, like I said, I'm probably going to... Like I said, if I get a Vika Volt here, um, I'm OHKOing him. Or maybe not, because I'll have four and then six. So yeah, I'm actually not OHKOing him. That's disappointing. So he is trading like a madman, burning through that deck. Of course, I can't really talk because I only have 24 cards in my deck. All right, so that's fine. That will put on the Wishful Baton onto my active Rayquaza. I know I have two Vega Volt in my discard. Maybe I'll get a Rare Candy here. I do not. I get a Vega Volt or a Beast Ring. That is a good question. I'm definitely going to go go with the Beast Ring in my hand. And then I'm going to pull the Vika Volt out. Dragon Break. And if he has um, a Leaf Blower, then I'm toast. So. But again, having just two of my four rare candy prized, um, Invicable really is the engine for this. Um, that would be another thing if I got rid of the beast rings. Um, I would definitely be able to add a charge a bug, which would help. Because right now I have a 403 line. Um, and that's just, that's one of the weaknesses, is if you can't get a Invicable going. Um, yep, there's the field blower. So I'm pretty much. This game's pretty much over. Um, I'm going to fight through it. Um, I can definitely attack with Faramosa next turn. Um, he's even going to ace Rolla. So, you yeah. know. Yep, different game if I've been able to get a better start. But again, like I said, that's the problem with this, is that if I start grubbing, <laughs> uh, I... 
it makes it difficult. You know, the, the previous game against Glacier on GX, I was able to overcome it. We had a very lucky, lucky holla, but um, this one, not so much. So you can see here, um, this, this Rayquaza, this particular build that I have here uh, has some issues. Um, so I'm probably going to switch over, and I'm probably going to lose the Beast Rings and go with... Uh, and look at that, I don't even have hardly an energy in my deck. That's another thing that I'm noticing, um, is that, um, and I'm just going to um, dump these two cards at this point. I'm just grasping at straws here at this point. Um, that cable gram attack is pretty good if you have... Uh, Exactly three prize cards, but outside from that, and, and you can see I have virtually no chance of winning this game, but I'm going to fight through. He will OHKO me here. I will have no energy and um, no cards in hand. So um, I did uh, play, I did do a Ludicolo deck. I did try Ludicolo a little bit with Plusel. Um, and I found, like Plusol right now, Plusol against Zoroark is going to be amazing. Copycat against Zoroark. Look at how many cards he has in hand. Uh, I'm, uh, so, you know, that would be another thing, too. If I can go with Dunsparce, I can, you know, lose the Hall, I can go with Copycat, which I think is going to be a very effective card. Um, like I said, the Plusol, I think, is going to be very effective. Um, yeah, he's going to ace roll again. Okay, I'm not going to waste your time here. All right. There was just no way I was getting out of that one, so. So again, here's my list. Um, you can see that it, it, it can do some good things. It, it can be okay, but um, I just don't think that it's consistent enough. I think, don't think it gets off to a good enough start. And I really think you need to get to do something to ensure that you can get yourself to a better start. Um, you know, maybe it's two Pheromosa instead of um, because Pheromosa has free retreat. So when I do start Pheromosa, that's that's okay. Um, instead of the Zerkatry, maybe that's you know one thing. But the big thing is you know the the grub in here. Um, maybe it's going with four Guzma then, or maybe another switch. But you know it's it's. There's, there's some different things here, but I don't think this is the optimal build. But this is what I'm at right now, so I'll post another video showing uh, what I decide to change to. and you know, Maybe I'll look around and see what some other people are doing, too. So, Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, good luck with if you're not putting together a Rayquaza build.